So in this, the question given is: Which are God statues of different sizes as a present from Court Master? So for his birthday, so each statue is having a non-negative integer. So each of his statue is having a non-negative integer. Since he likes to make things perfect, he wants to arrange them from smallest to biggest. So it's sorting from smallest to the biggest so that each statue will be bigger than the previous one exactly by one. So it should be exactly by one. It should increase each of the statues. So he may need some additional statues to accomplish the task. That accomplish that. So help him figure out the minimum number of additional statues needed. Okay, so sometimes the statues, I think the question will be like sometimes the statues will be of height 1 is of 10, 1 is of 12, 1 is of 13, 1 is of 14. So he needs the missing statue that means 11 because as it said it should proceed by 1. Now what we have to do, so for statues this one example is given 6, 2, 3, 8. So for this example the output should be 3 like 2, 3 it's correct then we need 4 then 5 2 are there then it comes 6 then one more is there 7 so 4 5 as well as 7 3 statues are needed for making uh, it from smallest to bigger exactly by 1 so this is what we will do so first what it is given is we are given the statues the number of statues are given uh, the array of statues are given so we have to find it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to count those things in between okay so first I'm going to enter into the loop i is equal to 0 i less than statues dot length minus 1 i plus plus so I'm going to run through each element and I'm going to check the difference between the first element as well as the previous element so that will be a better idea so when we are taking the case of statues of 1 then statues of Two, it will be more going like that. Statues of three, like that. Likewise, it will be. so first we have to arrange this as it is not sorted. We have to sort it. So we can use a function arrays dot sort of statues. So now we have sorted the elements. Sorting. Now what we have to do? Now we are going to calculate the difference between them. Okay. So what we can do is this minus this will give the difference. So I'm going to make one more element like x I'm going to give up. x is equal to 0. So I'm just going to give x is equal to statues of i plus 1 minus statues of i. So this will give the previous element. So let's take one example. Like the same example is given 6, 2, 3, 8. If we sort that, it will go like 2, 3, 6, 8. So the missing elements are 2, 3, 4, 5. 4 and 5 are needed. Then it will come 6. Then we need 7. Then 8. So we need 4, 5 and 7. 4, 5, 7. So first it will go through this. This is what we are looking for. Two, 3 minus 2, it will give 1. Then 4 minus 3, it will give 1. 5 minus 4 it will give 1 6 minus 5 no I'm sorry I'm going to do something. so this is what we are looking this is the this is how it should come 2 minus 3 it will give 1 then 6 minus 3 it will show 3 then 8 minus 6 it will show 2 so totally 3 plus 1 plus 2 3 by 6 so if you divide this final solution by 2 we will get the answer as 3 because actually what we are doing we have to just increment it by 1 2 plus 1 it is 3 so we have to, we, uh, there is no need for checking that particular condition. We have to just check the remaining ones. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 is not there. Plus 1, 5. 5 is not there. Plus 1, 6. That comes like this. So we are just uh, not looking into those first one elements because we have, we have to check the missing ones. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So if we check that, then it will not come as correct. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. 6 plus 2 is equal to 3. So if we divide this by 2, we will get the answer or else what we can do is that we can just uh, subtract this one yeah that's a better, better idea what, what we are going to do is 3 minus 2 1 so we are good, just going to subtract this by 1 because we are not uh, looking into that element we are just checking the missing ones okay so let's see whether this will work now we are what we are going to do 
uh, we have to add that elements into the count as I have just given count plus is equal to that means count is equal to count plus x I want to return count let's see what I just say yeah so what we have done is we are taking the previous element we are subtracting we are first sorting it then taking the previous uh, next element and subtracting it by this if it comes one we are just hardly ignoring it because we have to find that loop which is exactly preceding by one so this is how we can do it one method thank you we will see in the next question